Why exactly are you learning English? Why do you want to speak English powerfully? Surprisingly, many people have only a vague idea. They know that English is the international language and they feel that they should learn it. In school, they are told that English is important. Some people are focused on test scores only. They are studying English in order to get a high score on the IELTS or the other exam. So, where these goals come from? Typically, they come from the school system. In other words, they are external goals that are promoted by other people. Students are told these goals are important and thus spend years focusing on test scores. The problem is that external goals, the goals that provided by outside people, they feel like work. These goals feel like an obligation. These goals are weak and uninspiring. And that's a problem because goals are our brain's targeting system. Goals tell our brains what we want, when we want it, and why we want it. A powerful goal energizes, inspires, and motivates, motivates us to do more and be more. A great goal can totally change your life. Weak goals, on the other hand, produce weak results. Another step in developing my um, English first approach system is to develop stronger goals. But what makes a stronger goal, guys? A stronger goal is one that creates a positive obsession in your mind. A strong goal is emotional. A strong goal not only motivates you, it seems to pull you towards um, action and success. A great goal is like a positive addiction. The goal keeps you focused on what is important in your life. You can forget about it, right? In fact, with a, with a truly powerful goal, you will find it difficult to stop thinking about it. This goal guides you and motivates you even through the difficult times. So to be powerful, a goal must be intensely emotional in a positive way. This is why test score goals are so weak. Who gets excited and inspired by tests? In fact, for most people, tests are negative experiences that produce feelings of nervousness, fear, and stress. That's not very energizing or inspiring. And no wonder so many people feel bad about English. So how do you find and create truly powerful goal, guys? Begin by asking yourself power questions. These are the questions that help you find your deeper reason for speaking English. As you go deeper, you will find more inspiring goals. And the best power questions of all is simply why. Repeatedly asking why is an easy way to find your deeper purpose for English. For example, you might first ask yourself, why am I learning English? Maybe your first answer is, okay, to get a high uh, IELTS score. That's a weak external goal. So you just you keep asking yourself again, why do I want a high IELTS score? Maybe you answer to get a better job. Again, you ask, why do I want a better job? Now you are going deeper. You're finding your true purpose. Maybe you answer, you know, like, ah, okay, to make more money for my family, maybe. And then you ask, why do I want to make more money for my family? And you might answer, because I love them. I want um, to provide an abundant and wonderful life for them. So now you have found your big uh, internal goal. Your, your big goal is not get a high IELTS score. Your true goal is to create a wonderful life for your family. And English is a tool to help you with that goal. Isn't that more powerful and emotional now? Doesn't that excite and inspire you more? Doesn't that create much more fuel for your engine? Of course, everyone is different, we know this. Maybe your big goal is to travel the world and live a, a life of um, adventure. <clears throat> and you know that the English is the international language. Maybe you dream, uh, you dream uh, of, uh, of being a rich and successful international business person. And English will help you achieve that dream. Maybe you dream of um, um, studying abroad and at an American or British university. Maybe you want to make international friends from many, uh, from, uh, like many countries around the world. Maybe you have you know, like more than one big goal for English. The point is that English is a tool for communication. Just knowing a lot of words and grammar is useless. You must use the language to unleash its power. So the key to finding your bigger goal is to figure out how you want to use English in the real world. With English, 
You must focus on your real world reasons for speaking the language. Goals must excite you. You should feel enthusiastic and energized just thinking about your goals. Even though I am, I am, you know, like speaking on this topic, I too have sometimes been guilty of having weak goals. Um, you know, like I recently did a like series of live uh, videos, you know, uh, and my initial goals were like to teach people about the listening first approach system to connect with more people. But now these were certainly, um, yeah, they were positive goals, but they had no power, you know, they, they didn't excite me anymore. They didn't create passion. So I thought more deeply, I asked myself, why do I want to teach people about the listening first approach system? Why do I want to connect with more people? Why or what do I want to contribute? What do I want to accomplish? Better goals instantly came to my mind, including, okay, I want to inspire people and change their lives. I want to awaken people's passion and love of learning. I want to awaken their um, imaginations. I want to heal their English trauma. I want to totally change the way people learn English. I want to help people achieve their dreams using English as a tool. I want to free people from doubt, from insecurity, from boredom, from hesitancy. And I want to help them to achieve their dreams. Now these were all exciting goals. These goals immediately gave me uh, energy and power. They made me want to jump out of my bed and go to work. They made me want to do a fantastic job as a teacher. They inspired me to learn and grow better and better. They made me want to create an amazing demonstration. Not just some boring you know, classroom uh, lectures, lessons, such as the, the power of big and meaningful goals. Now, guys, why do you want to learn English? What is the most exciting outcome you can imagine speaking English will bring you? What truly inspires you about learning English? Think bigger, guys. Dream bigger. Do yourself a favor. Choose big, audacious, powerful goals for learning English. And then ignite your passion. Good luck.